I think if I could sum up what the league sort of means in one word to me, it would probably be empowerment. You know, you don't have to be an exceptional athlete to love to get out there and push yourself and challenge yourself and compete. We wanted to give people a place to do that and then in turn, hopefully empower them, you know, in, in multiple ways. My takeaway from playing like immediately after leaving the court, I feel like a sense of lightness. Um, I feel more comfortable in my body after I play. I feel more confident. Uh, it really extends out past these these four lines out of, out of this rectangle and into your daily life. I think about the types of women that kind of play in our league. It's, it's, it's broad ranging of, of women that come out. We've got, you know, the former college players, former semi-pro, um, some have played overseas. And then we have women who come out who haven't played since middle school or maybe high school. It's a broad range of, of the types of women that, that come out and play with us. The main word I think I can come up with is camaraderie. Uh, just seeing all these ladies and these young uh, girls out here just staying with it even after saying they're playing years in college and just showing the younger generation of girls, hey, you can keep playing basketball even after high school if it's not on a super competitive level. Um, it's something that you can do that's a lifelong activity. And I think it's a great time to be involved in women's sports. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing to watch the athletes that are at the Olympics right now. The level of competition in, you know, the college game, the WNBA is, is so exciting to watch. And I think that type of excitement can only be a great thing, a positive thing for a league like ours or, or any other similar leagues. Um, it just gets, you know, puts the spotlight on us.